Hey everyone, it's Ryan Tiki from FC for Malacca. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy through this time and I'm here to answer some questions. So, first question. What have you been doing in the phase of isolation? Uh, so I've been trying to keep myself as busy as possible, you know, because you know at times it can get boring, but I've been doing two sessions a day, so one in the morning, one in the afternoon. The club's been providing us with different programs and training schedules to remain fit so when we return back we still feel healthy and we can still perform at a high level. Uh, I've also been uh, doing some Portuguese lessons as well because at the moment I can speak the basic phrases but nothing nothing too advanced yet so next time I do an interview or something I'd like to be able to speak fluently in Portuguese so more people can understand what I'm saying. Next question. How did the adaption to Portugal? Uh, Obviously, being on the other side of the world, away from family and friends, is is quite hard. I mean, at times you can get lonely, but you know, my my family and friends are always in contact with me, making sure I'm all right, always checking up on me. So it makes it a lot easier. And uh, the club has acted in the second family as the way, and I think the fact that they've done that and they're always checking up on me has made the transition smooth from Australia to Portugal. So you know, I can't thank them enough for what they're doing for me at the moment. Next question. What are the differences between Portuguese and Australian football? Uh, so I think there's a few differences between the styles of play between Portugal and Australia. I think here a lot of the players are a lot more technical. I think they've been brought up with uh, to learn all the tight ball control. I think from the defenders to the midfielders to the strikers, everyone's technically very good on the ball. And I think that's something that's a bit different to, to home. I think people are brought up, you know, the ways to build up instead of actually learning the basic uh, dynamics of the game of actually like touches on the ball and stuff. So I think that's definitely something that's different over here. Also, the tempo and speed of you know just the whole gameplay over here is a lot quicker. I found myself back home being able to take two, three more touches when uh, on the ball, but now over here, I think when the ball comes at me and it comes a lot quicker. I have to know what's around me, I have to know my surroundings because I've always got a player on me. So I think that's definitely something I'm learning and adapting to while being over here so far. Next one. What are your dreams in football? Uh, so I think I have three dreams. I think as a kid growing up, it was definitely to play abroad in the likes of the Premier League. But I think at the moment, playing away from home, I feel it's definitely a step in the right direction. And I'm very happy where I am, so I'm going to continue to work hard to achieve that goal. I think another one that goes for all footballers is uh, representing their country at the highest level. That's definitely something I want to do and definitely something I'll continue to work hard to do to represent my country. And lastly, I'd like to change people's perspectives and opinions on Australian footballers. I think around the world, it's fair to say people undermine Australian football. I don't think they see a lot of it, so I, I like to see myself you know, succeeding in international football in the big leagues over here as well and, you know, help change the view of Australian football. That's all the questions. Uh, I hope everyone stays responsible through this time so we can all get back to our jobs quicker and, yeah, thank you.